Okay, let me show you my the haul I have made. Now some of y'all gonna say we that's a bunch of crap on your truck. Uh, you need to look back at one of my life lessons. I'll put it uh, on the screen right about now as to which one it is. But basically, basically the synopsis of it, or the Reader's Digest condensed version of it is, don't turn down anything that's free unless it's illegal or immoral. <laughs> so, uh, sister-in-law taking down a garage door. Brother-in-law, her brother, taking it down for her. He is a doorman. It is was a custom door made out of uh, cypress. Cypress is a wood that is very slow to rot, if at all. And it's a custom door in that uh, the, the panels were made, it's, I think the 20 inch, something like that, 20, uh, 22 inch, something like that. Anyway, uh, lots of panels, they are tongue and groove. As you can see, I've taken a few of them off. Now this was a shorter panel, and it was only uh, about 20 inches. I think the other ones are 22. So it's tongue and groove, got a small groove there. Uh, that is going to be perfect. I've done some measuring. Going to be perfect for making some honey supers. Uh, in fact, I'm thinking about making some complete beehives and just doing, uh, instead of ha having a deep body, a uh, deep hive body, which is a nine and a half inch, I think, deep. These aren't quite that, so I can't make them out of this. So I th I'm thinking about just making uh, some, hun uh, some beehives and make uh, them all out of a medium super, which is six and uh, three quarters, I think, something like that, which this will do. That from there to there is, is more than six and three quarters. And it's got the lip on it, again, with the tongue and groove that were uh, on the very end, the ends of it. The, um, uh, the uh, frames will hang from that lip. So I think, you know, I may have to shave off a little bit. Okay, so anyway, but a few, a uh, little bit of effort to help my brother-in-law. Uh, take them down and uh, hauling it back. <laughs> Was it hanging over the truck just a little bit? <laughs> it was an 18 foot door. So it's only hanging over about 8 feet. Uh, I didn't get stopped. I didn't have far to go. I was very illegal. <laughs> anyway, you know, a little, little busted knuckle here and there, but uh, basically uh, I have got a ton of free hardware. Let me, uh, uh, most of you are familiar with the garage door, the, as it goes up, uh, an overhead door, as it goes up, these hinges fold, and those hinges can be used, you know what hinges cost nowadays? Good gosh! Those hinges can be used for, uh, a lot of things. Uh, I, I can make, shoot. All sorts of stuff out of them. Heavy duty, nice hinges. And if I need something with a roller, in fact, I can go back and get the channels, uh, the roller channels. I'm not sure what I'd use it for, but I started to, start to get them. This cable, it's probably eighth inch cable, maybe five thirty seconds or something, whatever the next size up from eighth inch. Uh, I can put that on my greenhouse, attach it to my greenhouse, use that to pull my greenhouse around. It is movable. Uh, and, and these panels, that's where those uh, wood pieces there came from here. And I just knocked them out. They were stapled in, knocked out real easy. My wife runs an antique mall. They're all the time selling old windows and things like that. I'm thinking that perhaps I can rip these down here and have these as separate little window things for her to sell there. If not, since they are cypress and will weather real well, I can use them. Uh, if she doesn't want them, I'll use them out in the garden uh, for maybe peas to climb up or uh, beans or pole beans or something. Also, these channels here, I have ever already proven that those, it's like a little U channel. Okay. And what I, what I did, and I'll show you, maybe I'll go down there real quick and show it to you, is put it on the ground like this, like a skid. I put a cattle panel, a cattle panel down in here like that. Put a screw in there to hold the cattle panel in there. 
and then uh, just use it as basically a sled and I've got a, a chicken house built. Uh, I don't have any chickens in right now but I built a chicken house out of that. Works real well. A little heavy because I also put some tin and some stuff on it. But those are pretty light. Just those skids are pretty light. But uh, that with the cattle pines and such, a little heavy. But uh, uh, I believe it could be a, a nice little greenhouse. So I, I don't know. I'll use those for something. But each one of these, except that one, except this short one, has a channel on it. There's a channel. Right there. Anyway, taking it off a breeze, minus the boo-boo. And uh, so anyway, got a lot of wood here. I will be making some, uh, it's stained on one side, but the other side is uh, natural. That will be the side that's inside the hive, I'm sure. And um, I do believe that I have made a haul here. Just takes a little uh, time. I've even got a latch here. A nice, a nice latch. Uh, there's the channel that's bolted to it. Gonna take a little, little time, but I, I got that one apart in 10 or 15 minutes, so it's not no big deal. It's starting to rain here, so I'm not gonna stay out here long. But I will have a uh, bunch of little lag bolts when I'm through. Um, lots and lots of hinges. I probably will have 20 of these hinges. I can use those for a lot of things. So, I, I think I made a haul. And uh, we'll make a lot of beehives out of this, or bee traps. I'm gonna do a video on bee snares, bee traps, swarm traps rather, I guess more specifically. Swarm traps. If you've ever wanted bees, now is the time to make a swarm trap. Uh, depending on where you are in the world, uh, in uh, the south, bees will start to swarm about this time, about March 1st, uh, uh, or a little later. And, uh, but I mean, the, er, an early swarm might start right now. So uh, I'm gonna do a, a, a video on bee swarm traps. There's a, or I'll direct you to a better video, but I may do something. I've got a couple of them out right now, and we'll see what happens there. But this is pretty darn cool. And uh, yeah, I was a sight going down the road. <laughs> it was only hanging over about eight or ten feet, and it was uh, it was bobbing up and down up there toward the front of the truck. <laughs> I thought I was going to lose it a few times. <laughs> Didn't. Made it. Great state of Texas. Anyway, made it. So uh, don't turn down anything that's free unless it's illegal or immoral. Okay, I believe we're going to be gone. Okay, this is that other uh, chicken coop that I built out of, um, that's that channel iron down there I was telling you about that I got off the garage door. Uh, there's another video I'll put a, in the comment down there I did that details a little bit better. But uh, basically did it the way, same way I did my greenhouse in framing it up and everything here. You know, the way it's framed. Got a door. Uh, had not using it right now. I built it when I had a bunch of chickens. Had a possum come kill them all. But anyway, this is an, another use for the garage door that I bought with the channel. Uh, they call them struts or something. I think they call struts. But another use for it. This one's pretty heavy. It's uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five cattle panels. And I tack, tack welded it here uh, in, in places, uh, tack welded it to uh, make it sturdy, keep it together. Put, uh, put this on the end here. Um, one of my reasonings was uh, to be able to open it up. I was going to put my laying box back here, be able to open it up without going in. Get the, I could get the eggs without going in. But this is just another uh, example of what you can do with uh, free stuff and uh, I'll pr I don't know I may I may use this I may put some chickens in. I had ducks in at one point realized I was not a duck kind of guy but um, anyway this could be used uh, raise it up a little bit and you could use this for a greenhouse uh, for another portable greenhouse like I have up there um, 
But anyway, another uh, just another example of what free stuff can get you. All you gotta do is ask. Look around. Uh, talk to an overhead door. Now some of y'all up north, I don't think use overhead doors. I think y'all's doors are solid pieces, uh, a solid door that just tracks up and down. And, and but anyway, these overhead doors fold, and you'll have to do some research if you don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, anyway, this is uh, my little chicken coop that is unused right now. Uh, get me something to put in it sooner or later. Okay, we gone.